Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I want to talk about having your own experience and not comparing your experience to other people's experiences or stories. If you haven't done it, hit that like and subscribe button down below and that bell notification icon and help this channel grow. So as you're having your experiences, as you're walking these, this path, as you're doing spiritual exploration, one of the, the things that happens is you'll pay attention to other people's stories, uh, something you read, maybe you were watching or reading autobiography of a yogi or some other uh, novels, books, um, accounts, you're watching videos and you start comparing your experience to other people's experiences. The problem with that is that your experiences inside of your head will never match the experiences that other people have had. It's impossible, right? Only they can have those experiences. It's like, think about like taste. Like you eat a blueberry and inside of you with your wiring, a blueberry may taste like this, but somebody else eats a blueberry and it may taste like a strawberry. I mean, this is all theory, but you get the basic idea. And this was one of the problems that I had with my experiences, is I was comparing my experience to other people's, and it just, it just didn't match up. And it wasn't until I met a gentleman that I learned most of my meditation techniques from, that I realized I had had a lot of these experiences. As he's describing experiences of some of his other students, I'm like, oh wait, I've already had that but because it wasn't some big mystical magical dragons floating in the sky kind of thing I just completely dismissed my experience dismissing your own experience is the fastest way to completely miss any of the progress you may have been making you may have had experiences your entire life and completely dismiss them right so don't dismiss your own experience your experience this is your experience, right? Now, the modern mind has given us science. And along with science, we have a lot of people from the time that we're growing up telling us, oh, you have a fantastic imagination, okay? You may have had all sorts of experiences and then dismissed it because other people, when you, from the time you were a child, told you those aren't real. It's your imagination, right? So when you're exploring this life, when you're exploring your experience, make sure that you are actually paying attention to your experience. Nothing will derail you quicker than ignoring what you have in front of you, right? It's just, it's a terrible thing because you can go years ignoring things that could have put you further ahead. So I know this is kind of a short video today, but, um, but I mean, it, it's fairly simple. So. Stop chasing other people's experiences. Just experience your own experience, right? Every single spiritual teacher out there that has gone further than, than the basics will tell you the same thing, right? Your experience. Adi Shani is really, really, really fond of talking about that. And there's a reason for it. So, and that, that's one of the, the things that I had to learn, right? One of the things that kept happening to me was I was always like, why can't I have what other people have? And that's just not the way this works, right? You have what you have, and that's all that you have. So if you're comparing your stuff, if you have this envy of other people uh, and their experiences, then it's going to delay you in your experience and your own realizations. So that's all I have for today. Like I said, hit that like and subscribe button, help us grow this channel, and I'll see you guys next time.